Moving on to our next story on InfoWars Nightly News. Mexican vote may determine future of a drug war. This is out of the Washington Times. The front runner in Mexico's presidential race represents a party known for allowing drug trafficking cartels semi-autonomous control of certain regions during its rule in the previous century. The prospect of a victory by Enrique Pina Nieto of the Institutional Revolutionary Party in the July 1st presidential election has troubled U.S. policymakers about drug control efforts in Mexico. Over the past five years, the U.S. has backed the bare-knuckles war on drug cartels by President Felipe Calderon, who is barred by the Constitution from serving a second six-year term. That's right, they've, they've backed the bare-knuckles drug war by arming the very drug cartels, as we documented, um, as Sele Castillo has documented now in prison, like Los Zetas under the Fast and Furious program to bring drugs into America on ex-torture planes that routinely crash and dump out tons of cocaine. So it seems from this report that with this new president coming into office in Mexico, uh, the CIA back channels that run the drug trade from that country are concerned about their usual business partners, who it comes out in court trials, are actually working for the CIA, being surpassed by other drug cartels in the country. So it seems the CIA is very concerned about that at the moment. Moving on to our next story, Kurt Nimmo writes on Infowars.com, Ron Paul warns of Federal Reserve power grab. Not only was Obama's appointment of Richard Cordray to the misnamed Consumer Financial Protection Bureau unconstitutional, but the newly minted federal Leviathan itself is in direct violation of the Constitution, specifically the Tenth Amendment. In January, Obama thumbed his nose at Article 2, Section 2 of the Constitution. It states the President, quote, shall nominate and by and with the advice and consent of the Senate shall appoint officers to the government. But as Ron Paul notes in this new video, the new agency founded under the Federal Reserve dominated Dodd Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act is itself an unconstitutional monster that will further degrade the financial health of the country. Cordray will act as a czar answerable not to the American people, but his masters at the Federal Reserve, like EU or Soviet-era committee, the CFPB will be run by unelected commissars who will exercise extraordinary power. The agency is part of the Federal Reserve and its budget is not subject to congressional control or oversight. So here's that clip from Ron Paul talking about the latest advance in executive tyranny. Current law already allows only the richest Americans to invest in potentially lucrative ventures such as hedge funds because such investments are deemed to be too risky for the average American to invest in. The government in its paternalistic wisdom treats American investors as too stupid to know what to do with their money and protects them supposedly by keeping them poorer than they otherwise would be. We can expect even more of this once the CFPB is running in full stride. Now, that was just a segment of Ron Paul's latest speech on that new Federal Reserve controversy. We'll pr play the rest of that clip during the break. And coming up, Aaron Dykes talks to Clenor Childress to discuss the recent planned parenthood scandal and the truth behind the abortion industry and specifically how it applies to black people. Uh, Childress is, of course, from the website Black Genocide. Now, we urge all our subscribers, our watchers on YouTube, because most people watch this on YouTube, um, to subscribe to PrisonPlanet.tv because that's what funds the production of this program. We've currently got one-year gift subscriptions available at a 37% discount for just $44.95. We've got the free trial still running, so you can try PrisonPlanet.tv for 15 days completely free. Um, and then if you don't want it, then you just don't renew. And if you leave it, then it does renew, and you get access to all the content. Alex Jones Show, video, audio files, InfoWars Nightly News, speeches, special interviews, literally seven years of content, a massive back catalogue library of information war material. So we encourage all our subscribers to sign up at prisonplanet.tv. Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for February 6th. 
Well, much has been made recently of the president's unconstitutional appointment of Richard Cordray to be director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB. Lost in the hubbub has been any discussion of the unconstitutionality of or the need for the CFPB itself. Proponents of the CFPB claim that this new bureaucracy will help consumers by protecting them from fraudulent activity. In reality, it will only expose consumers to more financial harm. Housed within the unconstitutional Federal Reserve and funded not through congressional appropriations, but through the Federal Reserve's interest revenue off the trillions of dollars of U.S. government debt it holds, the structure of the CFPB ensures that it is run by unelected, unaccountable bureaucrats with no effective oversight from Congress. Given broad powers to regulate the activities not only of banks but also of any other entity which the government deems offers a financial product, there is almost no limit to the scope of financial activity which the CFPB can oversee. Giving impetus to the CFPB's creation was the poor reputation of Wall Street banks and financial firms that developed as a result of the financial crisis. Banks which received trillions of dollars of taxpayers' funded bailouts turned around and shafted their customers by foreclosing on homes, raising credit card interest rates, and introducing numerous new fees. But rather than keeping Wall Street in check at its, its proponents allege, the CFPB will end up placing further restrictions on the ability of Main Street Americans to engage in productive financial endeavors. Current law already allows only the richest Americans to invest in potentially lucrative ventures such as hedge funds because such investments are deemed to be too risky for the average American to invest in. The government in its paternalistic wisdom treats American investors as too stupid to know what to do with their money and protects them supposedly by keeping them poorer than they otherwise would be. We can expect even more of this once the CFPB is running in full stride. The CFPB will further harm consumers by encouraging them to use only financial products which have received the Bureau's approval. Many consumers will assume that these products are safe and will fail to engage in their own due diligence with predictably unfortunate results. We have seen this with the stock markets in the cases of Bernie Madoff and Alan Stanford where investors trusted the SEC to prevent fraud ended up suffering huge losses. Social Security is a similar case in which millions of people placed their trust in the government to take care of them in their old age. The inability of Social Security to pay its future obligations is well understood but ignored, and millions of Americans will likely once again learn the hard way that the government cannot be taken at its word. Thanks for calling this update. A new update is placed on this number, 888-322-1414, every Monday. The written text can be found on my website, www.house.gov slash Paul, under the heading Texas Straight Talk. Thanks for calling. The outside of these evil 1770 six flags doesn't get any more out of control than that, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty un-American what we're doing here at InfoWars.com. I mean, not only are we promoting liberty, but we're selling 1776 flags. Now that is Al-Qaeda.